Magic. Well, we're live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, turn on ladies, welcome to the rest of the show. I'm your host, Rebel. That was a way too fast. Edition, themed edition here for you tonight. Because tonight, we're going to do the one, the only, Chris Jericho trivia, WWE slash WWF specific, the man, the myth, the legend, the champion. Uh, we're going to have a great gaggle of people here today. First off, alphabetically, what's up, Brandon? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. WWE, WWF, Jericho, man. So I studied WCW for nothing. Great. Okay. Well, too bad. <laughs> Coming up next, he is the current reigning defending champion. Not here, but other places as well. It's Chris Carlos. That's me. I'm here. Yeah. All right, and coming up next, uh, let's see here. Maybe the T-shirt of the night. It's Richie Nemo Goodiger. T-shirt of the night. Look, I, I, I'm I'm already a winner. If I don't win this, that's cool. Uh, look, looking forward to it. What did Richie finally, not win T-shirt of the night? What? Who's the T-shirt of the night? No, Richie wins T-shirt of the night all the time because Richie has the best oh. T-shirts. He, he has a he has a. Uh, multiple time t shirt of the night champion coming up next. It's also a nice t shirt, it's very classy. It's Mesa Media, Steve Mesa, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready for wrestling with Jericho, people. Let's go with this wrestling with Jericho edition. I'm here to have fun, you know, win, lose, or semi draw. Don't really matter. We're just here to have fun and, and know more about Chris Jericho, about the Ayatollah of Rockarola. That was the first question. Damn it, Steve. <laughs> All right. I always ruin everything. I'm sorry. Fill in the letter. Y2 blank. That was funny. Question number one. Who was the first person Chris ever teamed with in the WWF? First ever tag match. Not saying they were necessarily a long time team or even continued after this, but his first tag match. Who was it with? Interesting. <laughs> Jesus. Cass, what's the answer? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I, I've i got a guess, but I don't know if they tech it. <laughs> got a guess as well. I'm, I'm lost. Okay. Give me a Red, long what you got? To kill it. <laughs> Big show. What you got, Chris? Uh, I said China, just in case they teamed during their feud. What you got, Richie? That is huge. What you got, Steve? I put X Pac. And the only person getting a point, Richie gets the first point. That makes <laughs> a lot of sense. He was his buddy. Uh, yep, they, uh, that was his first ever tag team match. <laughs> he hated him, by the way, and his book he buries him. <laughs> oh, really? Well, probably why it's not very long last. That's why I wanted to be specific that like this is not necessarily a long term tag team, <laughs> but. It's first ever tag match. All right, number two. Who did Jericho defeat for his only hardcore title? <laughs> There's so many different names he can go with. Ow. Yeah, a couple people held that belt, huh? <laughs> That's a couple. Just to, just to clarify, you said defeat, not lose to, right? Yes, defeat. As in to be beaten. Like like Gail Kim's finisher, defeat. Eat defeat. Are you sh is it that? Are you I no, might not be that. I don't know. I was trying to make a joke. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say I think Isn't you have the wrong person defeat? in mind. You have the wrong person. You wrong person okay, in mind. Uh, Gail, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, change it. Me and <laughs> and it's called Soul Food. I I've heard different names. I've heard Soul Food uh, for sure. I for sure have heard Eat Defeat. No, it's it's an eat defeat. It is the maneuver. It was called an eat defeat, but she calls it soul food. Right, but somebody calls it all e -E food. Yeah. No, I get I get the pun. Of, okay, yeah. Chris. Point is it's not Gail Kim. <laughs> the point is not Gail Kim. Okay, save this uh, for Gail Kim trivia. Big show, Richie. I hope it's on the answer I changed from. I I I said Rhino. What was what did you change it from? Kurt Angle. What you got, Steve? Well. Brandon. What about Raven? Brandon should have kept his answer. It was the Big Show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chris he, and he Steve beat Big Show. Board. 
he beat Big Show and then held it for five minutes, then lost it to Rhino. Oh, okay. I knew Rhino's in the back. Hey, yeah. Here the goes the third question. Uh, what, was, what was the name of Jericho's first solo DVD slash VHS release? Oh, uh, oh my oh, This is a great thing because there is a clip in it of Chris Jericho chasing around a ferret. Nice. We all have to uh, eat that soon. And a clip that he is next door neighbors with Big Show and Edge. They live on, or at the time, they lived on opposite sides of him. Or maybe it was Big Show and Christian. I can't remember. It was something like that. Damn, yeah, they did. Whenever, all right, Richie, what you got? I just guessed. I said, break the walls down. What you got, Steve? I think it was King of the World. What you got, Brandon? Best of Chris Jericho. And Chris? It's uh, Break the Walls Down. Yes, indeed. Wow, that was a gift. <laughs> Good job, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking it up? Because I'm pretty sure that's what the VHS was. <laughs> I'm a, I've already reached the point where I'm going to be happy to get any points now. <laughs> Really okay, I, I hate to do this to you guys, but say it again for me one more time, Chris. Break the walls. It's a breaking the walls down. It's break down the walls. Like I can't give it to you. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, God. That's why yeah, I fact checked because you yeah. both had it opposite. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't wrong, but I do have I had the right one. Break down the uh, walls. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. What former world champion did Jericho eliminate in the 2000 Royal Rumble? And he's a WWE world champion if he wanted that specific. Uh, Is it specific of before or after he eliminated them? Uh, at this point, he already was a world champion. Okay. Good, good, uh, good clarification. Thank you. Said the 2000 Rumble, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know what it is. Probably seen this Rumble more than any other Rumble. But I probably just it. One of my least watched ones, kind of. Well, that's not true, but uh, I've seen probably the ones before and after and more. I mean, I watched the shit of that tables match and the street fight. And yeah. hey, it's boobies. Side note, I also put it this way, too, because this is his only elimination. Yeah, he's not in there for very long. <laughs> he's in it. Let's see if I have that. I, I, I yeah, don't you're right. He's only in it for less than four minutes. All right, yes. what you got, Steve? Uh, was it Bob Backlund? Was it, Brandon? I also said Bob Backlund. Curious? Uh, Bob Backlund. And Richie? Bob Backlund. Well, damn, nice sweep there, everybody. Bobby Backlund. I'm on the board. <laughs> Number five, what weapon caused Jericho to be squ- disqualified in his first match? Captain. Uh... All right, back to the top. Brandon, what you got? Steel chair. What you got, Chris? Table. What you got, Richie? Oh, man, I've had table crossed it out. For some reason, I said nunchucks. <laughs> what? Uh, <and> see. <laughs> I am the table. And I thought Steve. it was like Steve Blackman or something, but it was, t- it was it Chris t- and Steve got it, and Steve also stole the joke I was going to make. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Number six. He defeated China for his first intercontinental title at what pay per view? <laughs> hey, Steve. Yeah. Oh, wait, you don't see the screen. I see. On my screen, it looks like Jericho's staring at you. <laughs> yeah, I, I see that. Oh, do you see? I didn't know if you were the same spot because I move things around. I bought your championship belts, Cass. Chris, what you got? I'm again 99. What you got, Richie? I'm again. What you got, C? Off by a month. I put Royal Rumble. And right. Oh, by how much I'm off? I said Judgment Day. 
Uh, Armageddon mad at you, no Armageddon. <laughs> Uh, That's a good point. Yeah, all, 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 the, all the guys cheered Jericho and all the women cheered China. Hey, all right, I got a couple of these. They're dual layered questions. Number seven Who did he face at Fully Little? Fully Little? Fully. God damn it. I, I know how to speak, people. I swear. Yeah, I know the answers. Who did. <laughs> all right, Chris is in. Who I did said. he. Hold on. Who did he face at Fully Loaded 2000? And in what okay. kind of match? Okay. <laughs> I like how me and Cass are the same to you. Yeah. I, I had something else written down because it's one of my like favorite facts that he was in two of these matches in the same year on pay-per-view. He was there. Yeah. Might come out later. That's what I thought your two layer one was like who were the two people in what matches? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Now, fully little 2000. What kind of match? Who did he face and yeah. what match? All right. Richie. It was Triple H and Last Man Standing. Steve. Triple H, Last Man Standing. Brandon. No, oh, it's Kurt Angle, two out of three falls. And Chris. Uh, Triple H, Last Man Standing. All right. Triple H, Last Man Standing. At Judgment Day 2001, Jericho and Chris Benoit won a turmoil match after defeating what team? It's the last team they defeated. Uh. (laughs) There's a lot of people in that. (laughs) Yeah, that's why I was seeing if you remember the finalities, finals. For the longest time, that was my White Whale 2001 DVD. I could never find it. And I finally found it on eBay for like 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I feel like there's a couple of weird, like, oh, oh, one, oh, two, set of hard. Yeah. All right, Steve Mesa Media. At least. And Brandon Mesa Media's assistant. <laughs> no, you don't want to. APA? Chris. I said Edge and Christian. And Richie. That was my original guess. Richie and Christian. Richie and Chris get it. Dang, I knew I should have. So I knew it had to be a heel because it only makes sense to have it last be a heel. Number nine. In October. Oh, dual layered. Dual layered, by the way. In October 2001, Jericho and who defeated who to win the WWF tag titles? I would have had this backwards. Okay. Yeah, why not? All right. I forgot. Steve, what you got? He moved the rock to defeat the Dudleys? What you got, Brandon? Wait. Oh, crap. <laughs> I understood the question. I said Dudleys and Brothers of Destruction. That's my, that's my fault. Oh. Yeah, I was looking for a partner and then who they defeated. Sorry. Uh, Chris. Yeah, that was why I was worried if I didn't if it was the Dudleys or not. But I put the Rock and they beat Booker T in Test. Richie, I put the Rock and the Dudleys for the thing. All right, that time it's Richie and Steve. That's what I was worried about. I think they lost in the Booker T in Test. <laughs> do I get half credit? I said Dudleys. <laughs> if anyone else like the, the way I do it, if they also only had half, yeah, but unfortunately no. Number ten, also a dual kind of one. Who did Jericho defeat in the first two rounds of the 2002 King of the Ring tournament? The first one being via a bye. Oh, man. Uh, yep, that's it. Uh, oh, wait, I better put his name than what it actually was then. Oh, oh man. It's- it's hard when you make me remember a TV match. <laughs> um, I'm probably way off. Yeah, because like the first two matches weren't on the pay per view, right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Like, only the semifinals and finals. Those, those last couple of years, they only did yeah, the semis and finals. 
I prefer I prefer it if it's the yeah that quarter yeah uh, it should be an endurance competition. Anyway, mm. um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Since they have a network, they should just pull like a bola and do it like, you know, over two, three nights of different like venues that are like nearish by. It'd be really cool if like with the network or Peacock or whatever, if they could like all the King of the Rings where the whole event wasn't on the pay-per-view, if they, they could have like take the matches out and put them yeah. so you could watch all the matches, that'd be really cool too. I'm a little surprised. Yeah, like this, this DVD at least had a bonus feature where you could see like highlights, which I liked. Mm. Which I always thought the DVD should have in general. <laughs> yeah. Which was made by Mesa Media. What? Oh my god, you're rich then. All right, Brandon, what you got? I don't know. I said uh, the Hurricane and Lance Storm. Chris. Uh, Edge and the Big Valboski. I thought maybe that's what you were getting at. <laughs> Richie. <laughs> Uh, really, yeah, that, that come, that's clear to me now. But yeah, I said Lance Storm and Spike Dudley. Another another storm. Uh, Steve, I had one half of it. I had Jeff Hardy and the big Valbowski. Oh wow! First of all, credit for you guys putting Valbowski and not Valvinas. I would have given yeah. it to you, but I do enjoy the fact that you had Valbowski. Uh, but yeah, Chris is the only one that will get it that time with Edge as well as Valvina slash Valbowski. Um, that time with they're living on a prayer score update. Chris is in the lead at seven. Right behind him, Richie at six, Steve at five, and uh, Brandon, it's good seeing you. Uh, how's that Minecraft going? Um, I don't know. My wife's the one that's playing Minecraft. Okay, I, I don't know. I just thought, thought I'd ask. All right, number 11. Who did Jericho defeat at Vengeance 2002 in this person's pay-per-view debut? Repeat. At Vengeance 2002. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me. F- I felt that question. I was going to say, yeah, I don't think he won. Yeah, I was going to say, who did he, I read he, it he, quickly. he it. I read it quickly. You're all fired. Who <laughs> defeated Jericho at Vengeance 2002 in this person's. Yeah, say, like, oh, my, let okay. me finish the question, Richie. In this person's <laughs> pay per view debut. It's, a, it's like the Mandela effect or something. I'm like, I just didn't remember him winning. But anyway. Well, it's interview with a vampire, not interview with the vampire. I'm telling you, they changed it and they're trying to brainwash us. Just like it's break the walls down and I break the down the walls. <laughs> you guys had me guessing. You guys had had me thinking. Oh shit! I don't know. All right, they were all good. Chris Defer Cass, John Cena. You didn't write anything down, but whatever. Where okay. you? <laughs> Another blank board. It's so weird. Steve. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. John oh, all, Cena. All three of you just not even trying. Brandon. <laughs> Ferdinand. I, I'm surprised you didn't even make a guess, so can't give it anyone that time. No, clean sweep, John Cena. China. Hey, I, point. I know China. what you're thinking. It's WWE. I can't fit in a movie question now. Wrong. On an August 2001 Raw, Jericho brought characters from what movie uh, yes. to humiliate Stephanie McMahon? What? What? Can, can you can you repeat? Sorry. On an August 2001 Raw, Jericho brought characters from what movie to humiliate Stephanie McMahon? I uh, saw this clip the other day, and I can't remember. Uh, this uh the feud that this kind of led into was one of one of my favorite Jericho lines. Oh. Uh if you remember where he was like he, you don't have any questions about his SummerSlam 2001 match, do you? A uh, one? No. Okay. No. So he's like uh Stephanie McMahon and Ryan are on the ring and he's like, I can't believe that you know this filthy, disgusting Oh, like yeah. animals in the ring. And he's like, don't worry, I'll talk to you soon, Rhino. <laughs> That's right. I remember uh, that. And then I also remember the very, very awkward, you would never do it nowadays, him comparing being like, your boobs got a lot bigger than doing the side by side comparison. Jesus. Well, yeah. Damn. Lock, lock it in, Reggie. Uh, yeah. I'm going to kick myself because I know the sounds of it. Whatever. 
Mm. All right. Uh, well, Richie, what you got? I said Star Wars. I'm not sure. What you got, Steve? I put the Muppets. What you got, Brennan? Did we lose him? Oh, wait, wait, Chris. Freeze. What you got, Chris? Uh, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, so yeah, far, but... Chris is the only one that gets it. Yeah, the giant ass apes came to the ring. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'll backtrack uh, as need be if we get them back. Uh, but hey, I don't have anything about SummerSlam I won. But who defeated Chris at SummerSlam 2002? Greatest SummerSlam of all time? I, I would probably agree. I mean, HBK I, return. I, I think I'll so. Another card. I won't say more. I won't say more. Mysterio angle. I was going to say, don't say more because that's kind of hinting towards this question. Well, I mean. I'm just saying, you did just eliminate two answers. And uh, what, there's five other matches happening too on that card too as well? Oh, I, I know. Eight. I'm just simply saying, don't name the other card because then you're in a way that's helping answers. Hi. We lost Brandon. You got Throw frozen. Fire. Well, he's not here. Uh, we'll backtrack if we have to. Shock our lockout. Uh, whoa, okay. No, we won't. Brandon! Back. What, what, what did you, you have for the last one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you have for oh, the last oh. one? Thank you. I, I said, dude, where's my car? <laughs> that would have been great. But looking that would have been awesome. Planet, Planet of the Apes. Giant ass apes came out. Oh, I remember now. All right. This current question, everyone's in, so just waiting on you. Uh, who defeated Chris at SummerSlam 2002? And then when you're ready, what you got, Brandon? Uh, Chris Benoit. What you got, Chris? Ric Flair. Damn. What you got, Richie? Yeah, Ric Flair. Oh, what you got, Steve? Ric Flair. Very nice, gentlemen. Flair. With that, Chris is in double digits. Number fourteen, Jericho won his fifth and sixth Intercontinental titles. From the same dude. Who's that dude? Number five, number six. I don't think it's the only thing that makes sense. Mm. He's had a lot of intercontinental title reigns. Hmm. Oh. No, no. Tension. Tension. Uh, I'm for a change. change. <laughs> okay. Uh, like right in the middle, so I can't go backwards. Mm -hmm. I hope this, is, hope this is right. We'll see. I hope this is right, but I, I, it, if it's not, I don't know. I don't, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's right. Anyway. What you got, Chris? Rob Van Dam? What you uh, got, Richie? I said William Regal. <laughs> Wait, Steve? I said Chris Benoit. And Brennan? Chris John. Uh, only Chris will get it that time. RVD. Damn, and I had it too. Shit. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I was going to put RV. No, I wasn't even close. <laughs> How much money was at stake with his and Christian's bet? Over Lita and Trish Stratus. What a classic match. Very uh, specific answer. <laughs> is there? There is. <laughs> I like this specific answer. Yes. If only I had my wallet here. <laughs> All right, Richie, what you got? I don't know the specific number, but I know it was uh, five hundred Canadian dollars, and it was Canadian dollars or something. Steve, one Canadian dollar. I won. Brandon said one hundred Canadian dollars. Chris, Steve, it's called a loony. Uh, well, I'm, I'll still give it. I was looking same. for one Canadian. Okay. Yeah, I know. What Canadian? Uh, so yes, we have uh, one here, Chris Cass. 
Steve and Chris. Yeah, it was just one. It was just one. That was the whole point. That's why the bet was so shitty. It was a trading places kind it's, of reference. If you're if you're Canadian, you get that it was a loony. And it's funny. It's funnier that way. Trust me. You, may, <laughs> you guys may not know it, but it's funny. I only know it because of Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Yeah, he, he made a joke about it being called a loony. Oh, okay. yeah, our two dollar one is a toonie. Okay, all, right, all, you, all right, all you loonies, here's question number 16. <laughs> At Armageddon 2007, who did Chris, Chris face for the WWE title? It's Chris. Chris, Chris. Is it Chris? No. Who did the guy who every talk question talk has been about face for the title? That's what people hey, on the list call hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Jordan, Jordan, was Judas there? Uh, probably not. Uh, did you say Christ? Oh, okay, yeah. It went on my head. All right, there we go. We got it. Got this one the last one over here. What? Uh, all oh. right, the funniest guy in the room, Steve. What you got? Randy Orton. Brandon. I think I got a point. Randy Orton. It's Chris. As he put up in that graphic, me want title match. Randy Orton. Richie. You guys are, if you guys remember that. Save, save us. Randy I remember that. Uh, yes, uh, clean sweep there. Randall Keith yeah. Orton. He brought up like this graphic on the uh, the Titan Tron that it was like a picture of him. Uh, it was a picture of the Cookie Monster, uh, the WWE title, and a match. And it was like, me want title match. Uh, nice. I also do recall uh, the WWE magazine spoiling that effect that oh, it was Chris yeah. returning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so bad. Like, People God were like, damn it, guys. Uh, Thanks, thanks for having him on the fucking flyer. I do have that magazine here somewhere. I don't know if I do. I'm not, I'm not wasn't too much at that point. All right, number 17 is asking you, Jericho punched Shawn Michaels' wife at SummerSlam 2008. What's her name? Just the first name. <sighs> we get extra points. We get a, a Nitro Girl name. Yeah, I was going to say, can I say her <laughs> Nitro Girl name instead? No. I don't, I don't think I know her real name. Fuck off. It's, it's definitely... Whoa, Jesus. It's definitely... We're still PG-13, baby. It's just the only one F-word. It wasn't that. I just, like, we're all, like, uh, having fun, and I'm describing the rules. Yeah. I was like, ah, fuck you and your mother. So I was like, hey, <laughs> you got uh, this. <laughs> what the hell is her name? Go get your shoot. Go That's get your shine box. Go get your shine box, Tommy. Go get your shine box. <laughs> yeah, wrong trivia match, Steve. God dang it. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Brandon, what you got? Beowulf. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. What? Uh, I know her Nitro Girl name was Whisper, but I put Samantha? Richie. Is it Rebecca? And Steve. Crap. It is Rebecca. Yeah, Richie and Steve got it. Richie gave the 10 digits. Oh, so Steve gave the 10 digits. Or double digits. 10 hi, digits. Yeah, hi everyone know. from down here. You're there too, man. Hey, you got my favorite number. I love the number three. It's how long it takes to win a wrestling match. One, two, three. All right. Uh, who did Chris fight in a triple threat match at Survivor Series 2009? Okay, I know which three he didn't. I don't need three. I need two. It's triple threat, and he's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> this match has the uh, the infamous uh, "I'm from Winnipeg, you idiot." Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't I thought that was the No Mercy one? No, I think it was this one. Hmm. Oh, maybe you may be right. Okay. Uh. Now you got me thinking. I want to find that out later. I feel I feel, I feel like because I saw I feel like I I knew it was that because it there, it had the no mercy uh, those LED lights right above him when he was talking to somebody about that. So I could be I could be wrong, but maybe you know. maybe maybe. Hmm. Uh, 
I think now it's this it looks well, unless you found the same person. I don't know. We'll talk about it in a second. All right. Uh, <laughs> Brendan, what you got? Uh, I said uh, Randy Orton and Batista. Well, what you got, Chris? Big Show and Undertaker. What you got, Richie? Yeah, Tom Lamb. I said last name, John Cena. Well, what you got, Steve Mason Media? I said Undertaker and Big Show. Very nice. Steve and Chris getting that one. Did he fight Undertaker at No Mercy? I said he fought uh, Shawn Michaels, so he it might have been. No, if it's if it's your no, then Winnipeg's from this show. Okay, cool. Because I just looked it up on YouTube and it's uh, he's fighting Taker. Yep, it isn't. You're right, Chris. Yeah. All I'm right. <laughs> Besides the greatest Royal Rumble, what was Jericho's last pay per view appearance at? Taking on Kevin Owens. So name the show. Last time we saw Chris in a full match on pay per view. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's definitely serious because there's a big show. He's shoving Taker back in the ring. This pin is starting to die. Good thing we're at the end of the match. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, Kitty. Kitty. I smacked him on the nose, but I didn't mean to. No, I didn't. I gave you a boo I gave you a boo I gave... Oh, yeah, they're ready. Chris, what you got? I had WrestleMania first, but I switched it to Payback. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Payback. Where is she? What you got? I said WrestleMania, but I think it's Payback. What you got, Steve? I put Backlash. What you got, Brandon? Um, Same as Steve. Backlash. Oh, only Chris with Payback. Yes. I don't think they were doing backlash. Yeah, they, 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 they did back. I think they did backlash the year after. So yeah. I was just off by a year. That weird gap of yeah, no backlashes. I couldn't tell you when. Who did Chris face? Final question at Roadblock 2016. Oh, wait. I think I know. This. Roadblock or Roadblock into the line. Roadblock. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I put 2015, 16. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, because they were both they were both in there, but like one had like the, the subtitle. Uh this is indeed end of the line. Okay. Good 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 clarification. So I had that happen once. It was like who was in like the main event of Roadblock 2016, and they were talking about like Roadblock and not Roadblock into the line, and someone messed up. Is there two in the same year? Yeah, one was like a pay per view special right before WrestleMania 32. Yeah. I didn't know like, it was the same year. special. Yeah, is it the same, same year, year though? Same oh, year. okay, then yeah, then yeah, my bad. I probably just didn't even think to put it because I was like, all right, at least it's a different year. Don't think I'm right. Good questions, Jordan. Yeah. Thank you. I wrote these several months ago, and this question, this game was very hard to schedule. <laughs> I looked up again for the first time today. <laughs> all right, we're all in. Richie, Nemo, Goodacre. I think I'm wrong. I can't remember. Uh, Roman Reigns. Steve, Nemo, Goodacre. The hell? I don't know. I think it's Seth Rollins. Uh, Brandon yeah. Cass. Uh, um. <laughs> I think Richie actually got it. I, I guess Kofi Kingston. And Chris Media. Seth Rollins. Burn it down, ladies and gentlemen, and burn it down for your winner. 16 Y2J11 points to Chris Cass. Coming up right behind that, Steve trailing behind at 12, building up some good points in the end there. Richie, Hi, Richie. Double digits at 10. And Brandon, <laughs> the real winner, is he scored yeah. my favorite number. Chris, any parting words, plugs? Uh, where can we find you in the Canadian indie wrestling scene? Uh, Netflix suggestions. Uh, what should I eat for dinner tomorrow? Whatever you got, give it to us. Um, yeah, that's good time to be here. Uh, I like these like themed ones, especially guys that are right in my wheelhouse. Especially when you're asking mostly like 99 to 04 questions, I really like that. Um, you can find me for filming for Kaiser Pro Wrestling, doing posters for UCW Pro Wrestling, and um, haven't really been watching anything on Netflix because they added two seasons of Simpsons to Disney Plus, so I've been binging out. 
Go. Richie, any parting words, Netflix suggestions? Who's your favorite Simpsons character? Lawn care advice? Go. I go to Steve, Simpsons. but I went to Richie instead. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay. Favorite. Yeah. So does like a theme song. Uh, favorite Simpsons character. Uh, Doctor Hibbert. Uh, favorite. Uh, 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 yeah. Netflix suggestions. Uh, uh, look, I don't know. Uh, I heard the movie Kate's all right. Uh, it just came out. Uh, what's what a that? Horrible suggestion. I don't know. I heard this movie's okay. Thanks, well, Richie. I, well, you put me on the spot. I don't know. Okay, you got. You, 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 He's you rattled, got man. He's rattled. His body said he was ready, but he wasn't ready to get third place. He's rattled, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Look, look, it's my. It's, look, look, I'm still my spotlight. Shut up, Steve. Okay, hey, and, uh, and 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 uh, look, uh, uh, I I'll take the opportunity to you know if, if we're gonna throw out these type of matches, I'll I'll, I'll 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 throw out a Kurt Angle match if you want to do that. I, I it's my favorite, my favorite wrestlers as well. So if you, if you want to set up a Kurt Angle match at, at some point, I mean I'm down. I gotta see what's um, requested. Yeah. I have a whole list of requests. That I'm still working through. <laughs> this yeah. one only this one only took three and a half months. So we'll get to the next request as soon as we can. So the next so the Kurt Angle one will take half a year. Got it. It depends on who's in it and if they're that hard to get scheduled. Jacob Barber, I'm calling you out. Steve <laughs> Mesa Media. Uh you you were you were trailing back right up towards the end there. You still got 12. Really uh, commendable Jericho Levin spot. Uh, any recommendations? Any plugs? Why are you the Ayatollah of rock and roll? And why is Apu your favorite Simpsons character? Absolutely uh, not. Apu is not my favorite Simpsons character. No, uh, my favorite Simpsons character is Mayor Quimbley. Uh, and recommendations. Uh, you're a big Bond fan. No Time to Die is a movie that you want to go out and see. That's all I'll say. Mesa Media One is currently sponsoring a new Texas Pro Wrestling Championship at Hocus Pocus on October 30th. Darius Lockhart versus Brian Key for the new Texas Pro Championship. And this guy is sponsoring the match. Thank you very much. Hey, question, Steve. Yes, sir. Uh, you don't ever want to sponsor a real pro match? What the hell? Give me the book. Oh, wait, you, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, we'll talk off air. All right, and All right. finally, Brandon, it's good seeing you. It's, it's been a while. I hope to see you some more. Uh, any parting words? Uh, and Amazon Prime recommendations. And why is American Dad better than Family Guy? Uh, well, I possibly couldn't tell you that last question. That's uh, up to the viewer. But um, uh, any parting words? Uh, this was definitely fun. I was hoping to not get last place. JB3, why couldn't you be here? Um <laughs> He's Love honorary lad. He didn't even show, so I'd still say you're you're four. Yeah, he, five. Goes, he goes he goes zero. Uh, he four got... six. I'm still barber in there. You're four or six. <laughs> Love you, buddy. But um, <laughs> but uh, I guess my parting words is um, I know I haven't been on here in a while, not since my debut match against uh, Corey C four. Um, but we'll like to be able be able to do more matches here, and I'm gonna make this call out right now. I know he retired uh, vacated the titles. I want shots at the AEW and Impact titles here on WWT, and I want Mesa's NXT title. And we're booking that for six months from now. Here we go. Drop, just like all the <laughs> trivia shows here from TMG to, to everything. We'll get to it sometime this decade. Ladies yep. and gentlemen, for Absolutely. Brandon, Chris, Richie, negative 12 points to Steve. I'm JPO saying good night, good luck. That's a movie starring George Clooney. Thank you.